Hey guys, Ryan Kelly here, and today I got you another tutorial on how to do green screen and shadowing for green screen. And basically, obviously the first thing we gotta do is get rid of the green. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to effects, you're gonna go to keying, and you're gonna click key light 1.2. And then we're gonna take this tool right here, you're just gonna click on it, and find the area on your green screen that would be best to take out. Now, um, at first, I was kind of confused on this when I learned this effect, but um, all you have to do, but just click randomly if you don't know, understand what I'm saying, and it should look like this effect. Now, um, if you look closely, you can still see that there's black and stuff that looks really bad, and all you have to do to fix that is go to screen mat and just mess, mess with these settings. I'm just going to mess with the black setting because that's all I really need to mess with right there. That's perfect. Okay. Okay, that's good. Alright, so what, you can just mess with that and that kind of stuff, and that's how you can determine how it looks better. Alright, and now we're going to do a shape mask around our character, like so, so we can eliminate that plug in the video. And now we should be able to scale down our character. Let me scale them down really quick. Alright, and now the next proportion of this tutorial is shadows. Alright, so now what you're going to do is you're going to duplicate your layer, place it below him, enter and call it shadow. So we don't get any confusion later on the tutorial. Alright, <clears throat> first important thing you need to do is you need to make it a 3D layer. You just need to get it rotated and fit so it looks like it's laying on the ground. Alright, so we're going to click W. We're going to hold this X axis and hold the shift button. Then we're going to click uh, U and just start rotating this thing like so alright now oh, whoops I mean to do that I'm gonna take this edge right here and just scale it or make it look good and because when you scale it down rotate and stuff it's gonna be mirrored to your actual object and that's very it's very important to make it back straight and if you don't understand what I'm saying like I'll zoom up on it and show you Like before, it looks opposite to your shot. Like basically, if your feet were on the right on the video when you rotate and do like that kind of stuff, your feet would be on the left. And you just gotta fix that. That's all I was trying to say. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna zoom up closely and get everything aligned. Now this should be fine. It does. It looks. It looks bad here, but it'll look fine when it's like finalized and everything like that. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Effects, and we're going to go to uh, Fill, um, Generate, and we're going to click Fill, like so, and it should turn red like this. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to change the color by clicking on this. If you're using a video or a photo and there's shadow in it, then you can just click on the shadow, and you can get the determined shadow color. Or you could go in here and manually choose it, and I really recommend you just use this straight thing here or these controls to find your perfect shadow all right but for this all I'm gonna do is click this and click right here and we should get that pretty good pretty accurate all right the next thing I'm gonna do of course the most important thing to do to your, to your uh, object is to feather the heck out of it all right like so now we're just gonna feather this object so it has the more realistic look just gotta keep going Alright, there we go. Now we got this cool feathered effect. And now that should be all for the tutorial. Now, of course, if your character moves, it's really simple. All you have to do is click P for position on the shadow. And just keep it under his feet or whatever position he's in. Pretty easy. Or you can just no lot or you can just motion track it, whatever works for you. And since um it's a video, it's the same video. You don't have to worry about arm movement or anything. That, it already covers it all automatically. All right, so that's one method on how to do shadows. Um, if you want any other tutorials or recommend anything for me, just uh, write me a comment and I'll make the tutorial for you. All right, thank you for watching the tutorial and make sure to watch more and goodbye.